My name is Jack Gregory. I'm from Asheville, North Carolina, and I am the class of 2018 Alumni Endowed Undergraduate Scholar. Both of my parents went to Duke uh, for undergrad, and that's actually where they met. And so they married shortly after graduating college. Uh, my dad graduated in 1991, and my mom graduated in 1992. And so that's where the Duke connection came from. I've been back to campus a lot for homecomings and games and such. So it's always been a big part of my life. I live in Wilson, which is pretty, cl uh, pretty close to Brown, which is where both of them lived um, when they were here. I considered Vanderbilt and Cornell um, in my top three along with Duke. My parents were very sort of laid back. They weren't forcing me to pick Duke. There was a lot of pressure from my little brother, though. My little brother is probably the biggest Duke fan in my family. Right now I'm looking at studying mechanical engineering. Um, I'm very happy to be part of Pratt. I think it's a very nice, uh, small, supportive community within Duke, so I'm really glad that I have that. Um, I sort of decided on engineering because my mom's friend, who also went to Duke, is an engineer. And after speaking with some of her colleagues who worked in conjunction with a hospital, I was really amazed at the things they were able to develop for the hospital and that immediate support and that immediate use of their creations. The project that I got to see was a bendable needle that could curve around the eye for non-invasive um, drug injections or surgery in the head, which was really neat because they had a prototype that I got to look at and so I thought that's really something that I might like to do. Having that use of my creative ability for other people immediately. So early on, I got my first Lego set, and I've always been a huge Lego fan. Mechanical for me was appealing because it's so widely applicable. You can do just about anything with a mechanical engineering degree and with the knowledge and critical thinking that comes with that. Translating an idea in your head through your hands into something physical is really amazing. That taking something abstract and making it concrete. So I think that's just, that's something fundamental that people like to make things. That's what's behind art. That's what's behind literature. That's what people do. And so that's really, that's really fundamental part um, of being human, I think, is creating things.